Welcome back. If you know Pittsburgh based Wiggle Whiskey, you know they are always coming up with something new. First, the whiskey, then Threadbare Cider, and now a new rum drink. Wiggle also always seems to be having events every night of the week throughout the city, sometimes even more than one. Here with more on the new drink and some fun events coming up is Wiggle co owner Meredith Meyer Grelly and programs manager. Emily Engball. Good morning. Good Hi. morning. How you guys you? really are so busy. We are. We always have something up our sleeves. Always. Yeah. And so we have to talk first about this new rum. Is that what it is? It yes. is. And you what, got you, it. what did you call it? So this is our Dunder rum. So Dunder. This is a really special rum. It joins our family of rums, which we've made historically from honey or from sugar cane. For this rum, we made it in a very traditional Caribbean style. Uh, so in uh, Jamaica in particular, uh, rum distilleries have these big dunder pits, which for people who make sourdough bread, you can think of as the starter. Um, so uh, to make this dunder rum, we created our own starter using enzymes from cheese mixed with molasses, and we allowed that to ferment over time. And then we added that starter to uh, the rum distillate, the uh, blackstrap molasses. So just because it's coming from enzymes from cheese does not mean it's going to taste like cheese. It doesn't taste okay. like cheese. <laughs> what it tastes like, what we get is, it's like adding, um, adding this dunder to our distillate is like adding compost to your garden or to Doug's garden. I see. Um, and it supercharges the flavors in the rum. So we get these beautiful fruity qualities, banana, Brown sugar, molasses, oh. and what's uh, what's a good mix with this? What are you are you making a special drink with it at your release party? Yeah, we'll be coming up um, with a number of cocktails at the release. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about the release party? Yeah, when so um, we're actually having a two part event. So Ooh, the first of course event, you are. yeah. <laughs> so we're actually approaching this a little bit different. So we are doing an event on the Thursday before, and that's going to be a very inclusive event. We're bringing out one of our distillers and he's gonna have this really awesome presentation talking about Dunder and why we made Dunder rum. And then people are also gonna be able to sample and kind of compare between our other rums that we have. And um, so that's gonna be a $12 ticketed event. And then on Friday, we're having the official release and that is a free event where you can come out, try it, live music, Cousins Main Lobster food truck will be there. So kind of a bigger event on Friday. Is that so. this Friday? So that's actually June 28th and June, June 28th, 20th, 29th. Yeah. Okay, good to mm -hmm. know. Well, again, you always have so much in the works and we love that you're providing so many fun events for the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, secret history of history, history, you have to tell me what this is. Yeah, so we work uh, pretty frequently with the Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. and we've gone to D.C. a number of times and done uh, partnership events with them and they've agreed uh, to come to us this coming Tuesday they're sending two of their curators up to Pittsburgh to talk about Washington's secret spy network that oh. existed during the Revolutionary War so these were uh, people who pledged allegiance to the King of England and all the while were spying on their British um, neighbors in America and sending that information back to George Washington. Interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating history. So, um, so they'll be talking about that. They're also bringing the invisible ink, the technology that George Washington spies used. Wow. And the coded language that they use. So guests will have the opportunity to actually play with all that language and the ink that Washington spies used. And so you're going to do all of that and sip some great drinks in the yeah, process. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, we also have a tar and feather event coming up. When is that? Yeah, so that's on Friday, June 22nd. And basically, we celebrate the Whiskey Rebellion with that event. So we bring out a couple different partners, like the Heinz History Center and Attack Theater. And they come up with really non-violent ones <laughs> and um, we bring out you know a food truck and gaucho will be there we'll have live oh, music I love gaucho, right. yeah and it's a twenty dollar ticket and, and you can participate in all the activities and then everybody gets to vote for their favorite activity and then the winning partner gets a bunch of whiskey so it's Fantastic. really cool and fun and that's something you've done before yeah it's our seventh annual so this is our big annual whiskey rebellion celebration yeah well i want to talk about another big event that's coming up for our dads for the dads in our lives the, <laughs> the old man Father's Day event. Yeah, so old fashioned with your old man. So um, that is actually our at our distillery in uh, Smallman at the Strip District. And that one is a $10 ticket. And that one includes an old fashioned and a flight of spirits. So we have a bunch of different spirits that you can pick from and try. And then Edward. Edward Mark Chocolatier will be on site Ooh. and they will be sampling our rye dark chocolate salted caramels. So right. that'll be fun. And uh -huh. you're going to make an old fashioned for us yeah, this morning. Yeah, absolutely. To give it a try. And when is this one? Is this this weekend? Yeah, so that's Father's on Day? Sunday.
Friday, uh, the 17th, and you can come to the distillery 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's great. And so yeah. what goes into your old fashioned? So this is going to be our malt whiskey, and this is going to be a smoky, simple syrup that we make in-house, um, mole bitters, and um, an orange peel. So this one's really delicious, and we serve it out of a barrel. Awesome. So it's very interesting. So it literally sits in the barrel until it gets to your glass. So it's very fun. And, um, you and know, you'll see delicious. this, you'll get this smoky quality from the smoked syrup, um, but you'll get this nice caramel, extra caramel and vanilla from the barrel as it sits and they're all sort of gelling together. That's so great. Garnish it with a little bit of orch. So we do it around the rim just to make it. Get that taste that of much, it. That, yeah. Whoops, that much better. Twist it a little bit. And you've got yourself a cocktail. Would you yeah. like to try? I would. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's after 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And I do get the smokiness. Yes. And the sweetness. <laughs> yeah, it's so a, good. It's yeah. a dad drink if there ever was one. If yes. there ever was one, <laughs> that's this. Okay, well, you can look for more on these events and the release party on the Wiggle Whiskey website. And you'll find that link at kdk.com slash PTL. Cheers.